The boys' basketball team has got off to a little bit of a rocky start this season, but things are looking up for them as they have Plainfield next up on the schedule this Friday for the homecoming game. We asked a couple of the players what were the expectations the team had coming into the season. I mean, we really just expected to like, win a lot more than we uh, have right now. We're looking forward to winning a lot of games this season. We then asked how has the team done so far this season in their point of view. Definitely lower than expected. I mean, we probably should win a lot more of the games we've lost, but I mean, um, it's, it's a new team, so we just got to figure out how to play with each other and then execute, and then we'll, we'll be there. In my opinion, I feel like we haven't proved anything. I don't know, we just keep, we go up and then slowly fall down as a team. And finally, we asked them, what are they looking forward to about the homecoming game against Plainfield this Friday? I just, I really want to beat them because last year, I mean, they beat us on a buzzer beater, so get that sour taste in my mouth, but I really just want to beat them. I mean, show the crowd that we can win. I'm excited because I feel like we could really win. We also had a chance to talk to head coach of the boys' special team, Shabazz Kalik, about how the team has done so far this season. You know, um, we like to be doing a little bit better than we are. We're kind of a, you know, an inexperienced team, a young team that uh, has had some, you know, trials and tribulations along the way. and. Had some games we felt like we should have won that we didn't, but uh, you know we haven't had really a chance to put our full complement of players out there. We've dealt with a lot of injuries this year, so uh, trying to get right uh, by the end of February. We also asked them what can the team improve before heading into the postseason. I, you know, the biggest thing is uh, you know we got to value the basketball, limit our turnovers. We turn the ball over way too much. Uh, make sure that we're rebounding the basketball and playing collectively together. I think you know if we share the basketball a little bit more, we'll be a lot harder to guard. And if we value the basketball, again, it'll give us more chances to be successful. Uh, when the possessions are even, uh, we're pretty hard to beat. And when the possessions are not even, by us turning the ball over, uh, we tend to struggle. And we asked him his thoughts on playing Plainfield this Friday for homecoming. You know, good, good environment, you know, hopefully. You know, a good crowd, opportunity for our uh, young men to play in front of a good crowd. And uh, anytime you get a chance to, uh, to compete with a conference rival, it's always exciting and fun. And, you know, the last couple of years, both games have been pretty close. So um, they're a great team. They're doing extremely well, and it'll be a good challenge for us. And hopefully, uh, you know, we come out with some good energy, um, ready to go. But uh, the biggest thing is always when you have an environment that, uh, that can be a little raucous, it's always enjoyable. And with all that, we wish luck to the boys' special team for the rest of the season. This is Bailey Kelso for Pioneer TV.